Dawson from the Intune Guitar Academy. Today we're going to be working our way towards our second chord, the C major chord. Uh, last lesson we learned about the D major chord. Today we're going to learn about the C major chord. What I was playing just a couple of minutes ago, a couple of seconds ago on my electric guitar was I was going from the C chord to the D chord. And as you can tell from the electric guitar, it sounds a little different, but it's the same principle. So you can roll C to D, C to D, and C to D. There's just different ways of playing C major chords. As always, before we start, we always want to make sure that we're in tune. I've already tuned my guitar, but uh, bef before you continue on, just make sure that your guitar is in tune. We've covered tuning the guitar on uh, lesson three and in lesson six. Uh, use the clip-on tuner like this one here. It's called the Super Tight by Snark. Works really well. It's adaptable to different guitars and different uh, instruments. As long as it makes a vibration and it can pick up the notes, then you can tune your guitar um, using a clip-on tuner. Uh, last lesson we reviewed notes on different strings. We started with E, uh, the first string, then F, F sharp, G, G, and then uh, the second string was B, C was the first note on the second string, which is on the first fret, and then D, and then we went up to the third string, which is the G string, G, open G, and then A, which is um, second fret, third string, then we progressed onwards to the D string. Other notes that are of, important, uh, that are of importance to us on the uh, fourth string are the, well, of course, the open D, and then you press down using your second finger, which is the middle finger, on the second fret, makes an E note, which is the same as those two are the same notes, just different octaves. And then there's, those, those notes are the same. And then right next to it, on the third fret, same string as the F note, so D, E, F. And it helps to try to sing it along to, to get you uh, to know the notes. So D, E, F. And then on the fifth string, we have the open A, B, and C. So the B is on the second fret, fifth string. The C note is on the fifth string, third fret. And that makes a C note, which is same note as this one down here. Those are different octaves. Octave relates to the number eight. So we'll talk about that in a couple of seconds. So before we continue on, I want to introduce to you a concept called a scale. Before we begin, let's review the D uh, major chord that we learned about in the last lesson. And if you notice, it kind of shapes like a triangle. If you look at it from that perspective, it looks like a triangle. You have the open D, you have the G string, but then you press with your index finger or your number one finger down on the A note, which is the second fret of the third string that makes the A note. So, And then you add in the D that's on the second string, third fret. And then you add in the F sharp to complete the D major chord. And you have to make sure that you let that open string ring out. So that's the way it's supposed to sound. And as you remember, I can, you can add in a couple accents to it to make it sound more interesting. So. Which is a very common technique in uh, pop music. They've done it over and over for many years. So before we begin, before we learn the C major chord, there's a concept, as I mentioned, something that I want to introduce to you. It's called uh, scale. And scale is nothing but a, a collection of notes that match together uh, depending on different keys. There's uh, 12 different keys along the, the fretboard. We're just going to worry about today the C major, um, C major scale in the first position. So we start with uh, our number three finger on the fifth string, which is the A string, but in this case we're pressing down on the third fret, which makes the C note. That's what's called the root note or the tonic. So C, and then we go to the open D, 
And then we press down on the E, which is the um, second fret using our middle finger or the number two finger. And then we go to the F note, which is on the third fret using our number three finger, which is also known as the ring finger. Down on the G string, we play the open G, and then we press A using number two finger. And then we go down to the B string, C using our index finger, number one finger on the first fret, and then D on the third fret using our number three finger again, then open E, F, and G. So if you practice that, not only is that a good uh, lesson to learn how scales and notes fit together in the chords that you play, it's good practice to develop the dexterity in your fingers. So if you can practice it and get fluid at it and get uh, familiar with doing your C major scale, you can end up doing something like this. And then you go in reverse order. So you go G, F, E, D, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. And then you continue on onto the sixth string. G, F, E, F, G, A, B, C. And what I like to do is use a metronome. Metronome. Is something that we've talked about already and you just turn it on and it makes that kind of ticking sound and it just allows you to keep time as you're progressing so we can learn learn about that later on but um, just get familiar with doing your C major scale and eventually it'll make it easier for you to learn how to play um, a C chord now if you have ever seen the movie um, the sound of music, you've already been introduced to the C major scale. If you remember, there's that scene where Julie Andrews sings the Do Re Mi song. Well, the Do Re Mi song is nothing but the C major scale. So, and as I mentioned, it's easy to, it, it'll help you remember how to play it if you say the notes out loud and if you can try to sing them. If you have a fairly good singing voice, you can go C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. So that's your octave. So it goes, so that's eight notes higher. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Oops, sorry, I missed one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So on the eighth note, that's the octave. And because there are two E strings on a six string guitar, we have the E string on the first string, which is the high E, and the low E, you'll end up playing uh, E, F, and G three times throughout that scale. So if you remember C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and then you play E, F, and G up there as well. So continue to practice your C major scale. This is something that you can look up, just type in, uh, in Google search. You'll, you'll find hundreds of results. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And just use it as an exercise for now. You don't have to get too fancy. Don't get too bog, um, bogged down in the theory. Just use it as um, an exercise to increase the dexterity of your finger, fingers, I sh should say, and also your strumming hand. So I'm right-handed. I strum with my right hand and play notes and chords with my left hand. So if you were left-handed, typically you'd be in reverse order. You'd strum your, your left hand and play notes and chords with your right hand. But the concept is the same. So if you keep on practicing. It's a good way to get used to playing notes. It's a good way to increase the dexterity of your fingers and your hands and it just makes you more comfortable playing the guitar. And I've been, I've learned uh, scales almost as soon as I learned how to play guitar and I've been practicing them for as many years as I've been playing guitar, which is several years. So I've always played scales and I play scales in different positions throughout the guitar in different keys. 
and different positions but that's that's much more advanced we'll get get to that later on I just wanted to introduce you to the first uh, initial scale the basically the, the the building block which is the C major scale it has no sharps no flats and that's one of the reasons why so many popular songs are written in the, the, the the key of C major because there are no sharps and flats. It's it's a much easier key to sing in. Uh, G, the key of G, only has one uh, sharp, which is the F sharp, and that's why songs in the key of G are also very common because they're much easier to sing. There's less sharps and less flats, and uh, so most singers can have a much easier time singing songs in those two keys. So this has been lesson number seven. On our way to playing the C major scale, thank you for joining me on this lesson. Don't forget to check out my website, IntuneGuitarAcademy.com, and check out my other videos on this YouTube channel. Um, we talk about uh, the basics of learning how to play guitar, and we'll see you next time.